Life is not a game. But in the 1970s, top scientists were able to simulate it as if it were one. John Conway came up with the way to uh, simulate evolution. Um, it was just a real dumbed down way. Uh, you can see here, this is what it basically looks like. Um, basically, he, he just did uh, four simple rules to simulate like uh, a real dumbed down version of the laws of physics. Uh, these are some criteria. Uh, where did it go? So these are basically the four rules that uh, uh, decide what the environment do. Um, basically, it's like there's basically, basically, some, uh, so every little pixel on the screen, like these little men, uh, they, um, they're like a cell. And then it looks all around each cell and it says, they're called like the neighbors. And it says, okay, if there's too many neighbors, then it die because it's like overpopulation. And if there's too few, it also die because it's too lonely. And, um, you know, if it's just the right number, then it's fine. It's, you know, that kind of stuff. Those are the basics of the rules. And then, so for my final project, I, uh, I basically recreated uh, this simulation. So here's what it looked like. I, da, da, da. I hope it's still working. Um, so this is what it looks like. And I did, so all it depends on, uh, it's a game, but it's a zero player game. Because all that matters is uh, how it starts. So let's start it off with just random. Uh, it's, um, so it's starting off just random being, um, and then it'll apply the rules and this is what it'll look like. Here we go. And so it's applying the rules and it's just all chaos. Um, and so there's no real structure. Everything is kind of, so it's more likely to die than to, uh, stuff to survive. Um, so you can see. There's a couple things that are stable, like there's a square here. Oh, I'm sorry, it got eaten. There's a couple things here, but pretty much everything's going to end up being... Uh, things will s last, they'll survive on, uh, but most things will uh, end up being not dynamic. They'll end up being just stuck, living in like a, a s stuck position. Okay, now this is uh, called a glider. Uh, this uh, is one of the very first uh, stable things that moves. Uh, so these like five cells, like it stays in like a very stable uh, position, uh, and it like continues to move uh, while maintaining its same structure. Uh, this is a, a first pattern, and I made it an infinite loop uh, board game board. So then it'll come. Look at that! Comes around the top. Bang bong! It's noon time. Twelve bings. Yep. So then that's the glider. Boop, boop. And then here comes a small spaceship. And boop. And it's very similar, it only goes to the sideways instead of the diags. And then that's these are just the names that they, the community has given them. There's so many, like people uh, do these evolution simulations on like supercomputers. And they, I don't know how they look for them. Like they use computers or they just do it by hand or at, by eyeballs. Or my balls. Um, and somehow they find them. And then uh, you can imagine they do it over like super long term long uh, like long evolutionary scales uh, in the supercomputer at least and uh, so this is an example of something that I don't know how just long 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 term like big you can imagine big big things have uh, they've found so here's an example you might want to uh, get the kids out of the room and you might want to run because this is a big old honking fish and these aren't animated, these aren't pre-programmed animated things, keep in mind. These are just uh, cells that either live or die. So like, these are just patterns that either live or die based on what their neighbors are doing. So like, the neighbors to the left just happen to be moving, uh, you know, like, the neighbors are dying and the neighbors to their left are all in conjunction just happen to be coming alive while the ones to the right are dying. Uh, in a pattern it's very remarkable like or the glider it's like the similar thing but to the bottom right it's a very interesting pattern like uh, so that's pretty remarkable um, and uh, a lot more interesting than just something being animated uh, a lot more complicated than just that okay so that's my project uh, he had static uh, TV he's an old TV now he's being an old TV and that's uh, that's a little cheeky and that's pretty coy. Um, and that's my project.